Okay, it looks like it didn't set the message. Let me send that. To protect and serve. <laughs> the his house welcome to 999 what is up my guys yeah this is totally 999 <laughs> okay <laughs> that was a good video but <laughs> thank you very very poggers very poggers hello c hi so it looks like it didn't send the message <laughs> of course yeah Oh, Barn! Yo! Thank you for the three month gift subscription, Barn! That, that, it was, from, you really think. From Lynn, yeah. <laughs> oh. I am exter externally grateful. <laughs> externally grateful? You're not yes. internally grateful? Well, I am, but I need to show it externally, otherwise, it doesn't count. Okay. So, Hagu is here. Hello, Hagu. Hagu, you're here? Oh my god. Nice. The Hagu? The Hagu. Very poggers. Yeah. Very poggers. Also, chat, how does volume sound? Hopefully it sounds alright. We did the sound test, so it should be okay. What even were we doing in 999, Barn? Um... Oh, hey, it did, it did happen. It did happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we opened door three last time, right? Uh, well, yes, we opened door three. What I mean is that the announcement came up just now. Oh, okay. I think it's okay. That's good. All right. Yeah, because you put yours up, and then two minutes later, me me six came up. Oh. <laughs> and I keep wanting to say call it meep. Oh. Oh. Okay. So the message does work. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Um, it's a little bit delayed. It's a little delayed. Okay. So so Hagu, I must announce that I am in love with Stu Miley once again. <laughs> Yeah, I showed him some uh, manga, manga panels. I, d I don't know why Carl was not a happy camper. Is Carl ever a happy, ca happy, happy camper, though? You're right. <laughs> Freaking emoji of the turtle. How dare. All right. Uh, that, that's what I should do for an emote if, if, if I get an affiliate. If I actually get up off my ass and stream. Oh, what emote? Puffy cheek. Ah, oh, yes, puffy cheek. Because I feel like I feel like it's become a meme in recent in recent months. <laughs> to myself personally. Can't believe Barn is in love with Sue Miley again. Shaking my fucking head. I should have expected this eventually. <laughs> you Why should've. would you believe otherwise? <laughs> All right. It's me. It is. And he has now fallen in love with another good girl in Hello Charlotte, so. Yeah. Look forward to that. To the simpin. Onwards. Yes. Also, you can see the game all right, right, Barn? Yeah, I can see the game all right. It's a little, it's a little laggy. Oh. But it's not, it's nothing bad. Okay. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you if it gets too bad for me to. Okay. Okay. Those letters written in blood. LLR. Do you think that might be some sort of dying message from Snake? It's Leon. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> Who is no. seven? <laughs> um. I guess you can be seven. I want. I want to hear you say it first. Oh, really. Fast. Okay. No, that's impossible. <laughs> that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> I'll, I'll take seven. You saw the body. You aren't doing anything. After, you aren't doing anything after something like that happens to you. Also, like always, I forgot to say it at the start of the stream, but Barn is immune from points unless he so wants to. So ye. Unless so wants me to. <laughs> unless so he already wants you to. 
then you have no choice but to listen to him. Yeah. But then I'll sue Miley for it. <laughs> then this. You're gonna sue Miley? Well, I prefer her suing me and me giving her every earthly position I own. <laughs> including myself. Right? <laughs> I thought so. The way the blood's dried tells you it's real old. Whoever's blood this is, it ain't snakes. And you're saying this blood was put here a long time ago? Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Hagu. Hydrate? I gotta go get water. Hacha. You forgot to get the water, barn. Oh, hello, Roselet. Oh, Joe Mama redeemed a dirty adult. Okay. What a dirty adult you are. You just missed Born leaving to go get water, so that was just me doing it. That is grinding in Genshin, so I'll lurk. Oh, good luck with that! Uh, me, Born, and Yen were playing together last night in Genshin, so that was fun. <sighs> what a dirty adult you are. <laughs> well, you got it, Joe, you got it. Oh, someone redeemed one, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you saw the message and so you said it. <laughs> no, no, I legitimately didn't. <laughs> you just said it. <laughs> nice. Good timing, I guess, then. Yep, I gotta crack up the cold one with the boys. <laughs> this one's to the. I'm pouring one out for the dirty adults out there. <laughs> for the insanitary grown ups. For the Sue Miley. <laughs> Also, thank you for the hydrate, Joe. Yeah. All right. Said seven. <laughs> oh. L L R. Hagu redeemed Nyas. Okay. Nya 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 nya. I did it in a different voice this time. Anya, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Are you dying, Barn? Are you drowning? Yeah. Also, best Barn impression, 10 out of 10. Thank you, Joe. Oh, shit. You're doing a Barn impression? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean... When was that, when was that agreed upon? <laughs> Fine, please don't drown. Oh, we've got a bucket. This is a bucket. Where's... No. <laughs> Dear God, there's more. No. <laughs> oh, this is June. I, I'm not June. <laughs> It's a tin bucket. I keep. I always say the June and June and think it's June. <laughs> Put it on your head, become Kana. Hey, Jumpy. Do you remember back in elementary school when you spilled all of our paint across the whole classroom? They made you clean it up, and all they gave you was a sponge and a bucket. Like this. Hey, come on now. Can we just leave the past in the past? No. Let it go. Let it go. Where's my Elsa and Spider-Man? No. <laughs> Junpei reached for the broom, and as he grabbed it, he heard a soft voice from behind him. It was June. The rabbit hutch. Oh? Huh? Very cryptic. Rabbit? Hutch. He turned around. There she was. Looked sadly pale, but there was a smile on her face. Oh, you just reminded me of it. The rabbit hutch, I mean. Why are you sound so sad? Or... How did I remind you of something well, like that? Because the last time, last time we were here, she screamed over Snake's dead body. Mm. And so she's still recovering, but she remembered the rabbit hutch. Good ah. times. Okay. Jumpy and the broom. You're always playing around with the broom in front of the rabbit hutch. I was. Don't you remember? 
Did you ever do that barn? Like you pretend like a broom or like a stick is like a gigantic like Final Fantasy weapon? Uh, yes. Good. I, I when I was <laughs> when I was younger, I, like, I would get sticks that are about the same like length I am now and like a little bit thicker, <laughs> and I like be swinging around like a great like a great sword like a club. I fucking love that. Like. We had this one tree, and I would climb up it and, like, break off long-ass freaking like, branches, like, twice my size and swing it around and be like, ah, I'm Cloud Strife! <laughs> Thing is, I, I never I never even said that because I never played Final Fantasy when I was younger. <laughs> I know, I've definitely done the whole ride the broom thing. I've also done that. Oh, absolutely. Uh... I remember when I was in elementary school, I really liked the Kiki's Delivery Service movie. And one day I just ran out of the house with like a broom and like went to my school for some reason. And pretended that... <laughs> Cause like my school is right across the street from where I used to live as a kid. Oh, I see. So I would run over to the school and pretend like I flew to school and back and I'd be like, Bob, I can fly. <laughs> But there's a story behind that also. My mom told me that she was a witch. And for a good part of my life, I had believed that she was an, in fact, honest to God witch. Uh, like during mm -hmm. Halloween, she would get cauldrons and like cackle and be like, <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, one, um, so this is around when um, the third Harry Potter movie came out. Um, and when I was younger, I grabbed like a screwdriver or something similar. And I would pretend it was a wand because it was the closest thing that could fit in my hand that could reasonably be thought to be your wand. Mm -hmm. And so I was just running around my neighborhood screaming expecto patronum <laughs> <laughs> on my bike. And then as I was doing that, I wasn't paying attention. And I ran into a parked car and like flew across flew across the uh the top of it like okay enough of that <laughs> let's stop it's leviosa not leviosa no no you need more inflection it's it's leviosa not leviosa <laughs> okay thank you bye i have said i have said that same phrase so many times <laughs> <laughs> i hope you didn't lose your witch contract well if that means i get to be with Zizel, then Hmm. As her maid. <laughs> Jinbei stared at the broom in his hand. He felt the sur yeah. surge of wanting to you cosplay Kitty's delivery service. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> she looked very sad. He shook his head. Of course I remember. How could I forget something like that? <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, is it like a rabbit massacre? Uh, they were in the sixth grade. Junpei and June had been assigned to take care of the classroom pets, the rabbits. Their chief duty was to clean the hutches every morning. On the final day of school before summer vacation began, Junpei overslept. He rushed to school and found June standing in front of the rabbit hutches. Uh-oh. No sooner had Junpei arrived than June began to cry. He had no idea why until he looked behind her into the rabbit hutch. The first thing he saw was blood. I was right. The hutch was filled with the dead bodies of the rabbits. Jesus. Even after their teachers and friends came to see what the commotion was, June couldn't stop crying. I just kept crying and crying until you came over. And, and then she cried to more. <laughs> you looked very serious and you said, Don't cry. I'm going to catch the person who did this. Don't cry, June. It's all Daijobu. After you told me that, I finally stopped crying. Well, the real fun started after you quit crying. Oh? You this told is where me the we game were going to catch the killer together. Oh. <laughs> Is this June's motive of actually being evil? 
Yes. The, the, ra the rabbits. <laughs> the rabbits. <laughs> this is all just a long con to catch the rabbit killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she creates this cult of people that worship the Titanic, and she's be like, we're going to catch the <laughs> rabbit killer. <laughs> She she bonds them all with the Titanic. Is like, oh yes, yes, I will find the rabbit killer of my elementary school days. They will pay. <laughs> Ever since then, June has changed. <laughs> the rabbits. Then again, I've changed since I saw rabbits too. Yeah. In ReZero. <laughs> God. That is terrifying because I, I actually read the the chapter from that. It is terrifying because it goes into detail. Oh, on Lord. how it happens. <laughs> June is evil because of rabbits. Rabbits are actually the cause of evil. I, I, you know, I'm Story Bunny Boy, so I don't know how to feel about that. You are evil. <laughs> I am. Thanks. No problem. I mean, considering you just, you tell me you want me to die all the time when we're in a voice call together. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, isn't that what you want, though, Born? I mean, it is, but only from from Miley. Okay. Well. <laughs> Evilio. See. <laughs> See. <laughs> I mean, you are evil, but bunnies and rabbits are totally different. How are they different? <laughs> one starts with a B, one starts with an R. Okay, but they're like the same thing. Quit your heresy, you. <laughs> It's like, oh, cats. <laughs> cats and felines are different. They're not. Cats June are felines. Smiled. <laughs> June smiled, and a little of a flush of life returned to her cheeks. Then we decided that we'd ambush them. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Haven't you seen by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the school also kept roosters and guinea pigs. What about the roosters guinea pigs? Did they die? I hope they did. Junpei and June had decided the murder would likely return to finish off the rest of the animals. This is why I think Elio is evil? You think? Or you know. There's a, there's a distinction there. They would ambush the killer at night. They'd beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Junpei and June hid behind the hutch at dusk, dusk and waited. Okay, but what if, like, the killer was, like, this actual, like, mass murderer dude, and they're like, oh, we gotta ambush him, um, and then he pulls out a hatchet? They're kids. They're evil. <laughs> they're bloodthirsty. <laughs> <laughs> it was a warm summer night. The quiet sound of crickets whispered through the air. As the sun went down, the stars began to wink at them from the sky, saying, Hey, y'all are going to get together soon. <laughs> In the future. <laughs> at night. <laughs> hey. And June's... Akane Kurashiki's face. That night was something Junpei knew he would never forget as long as he lived. But the murderer never showed up. We waited for them all summer vacation, and they never showed up. Yeah, but the animals didn't get attacked either. That's good. I think all that work amounted to something, you know? <laughs> he felt the same way, but it was good to hear her say it. Although, you know, if you think about it, we were probably taking on a lot more than we could handle. Hmm, what do you mean? She looked up at him, confused. Oh, come on, we were just kids. If whoever killed the rabbits had actually showed up... They would have killed us! They probably God, I wish. had a knife or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you must have been pretty worried, right? I, I wasn't worried. Yeah, let's see what these sixth graders can do with a dude with a knife. Just pull at his hair. <laughs> Bite his ankles. <laughs> because you were... Because you were there with me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now kiss. She blushed furiously. Now hey, kiss. You two should kiss. <laughs> well, you know. 
now. <laughs> no one else wanted to take care of the animals. Clearly embarrassed, she tried desperately to change the subject. I was the only one who asked to do it at first. Yeah, well, boys don't really want to bother with taking care of animals, you know. Well, yeah, but you asked to do it after I did, didn't you? That's because of yeah, you. It wasn't the rabbit. <laughs> they were going to make me do something else. You know how that school was. Uh, are you sure it's not just so you could be with Akane? It was so he could be with Akane. <laughs> I That's a theory. I was working with a game who theory? Wasn't too much of a loud mouth, yes. Right? Somebody who wasn't going to tell on me if I felt like blowing it off. Hey, I have a game theory. Want to hear it? What, 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 what? Spill that tea. Okay. Is Akane Kurashiki Sands from Undertale? I'm going to delete System 32 from your already dying laptop. I swear to God. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'll be getting a new laptop on the 13th anyway. I will end you. <laughs> You'll just end me for like six days. Yeah, and then I'll resuscitate you and be like, all right, get back to streaming. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. Really? That's why you volunteered? Yeah, yeah, it is. He nodded quickly and much too earnestly, and then quickly looked away at something very important. It Santa. <laughs> Yo, what if Santa's Sans? He's got the first part of Sans in his name. Sans Ta. Well, wait, San is is three in in Japanese, and Sans is is the the second. There's a third one. There's a third brother. Oh my god. Oh, Sans is related oh. to Papyrus. Papyrus for Smash. Come on, bro. W give us that Papyrus. Give us that Komaida in Smash. The fact that everyone was like earnestly trying to say Komaida for Smash now because <laughs> Minecraft got in there. I'm like, guys. Guys, Look, please. I've been wanting Komaida in Smash since before fucking Sans came in. Literally, why though? Legitimately. I want, like, a visual novel rep, and I was like, okay, so, like, Phoenix Wright is, like, a safe, a safe character to put in, because, like, Phoenix Wright is just, like, a lawyer, and I'm like, but what if Danganronpa, and then they can announce, like, a collection, like, with the one two reload thing on Switch when they announce, but then I was like, yo, it, it would probably either be Makoto, Junko, or Monokuma, but then I was like, but wait. If it's Makoto, then Komaida's gotta be like an alt, right? And then I just completely disregarded the Makoto bit and just hyper-focused on it being Komaida. Well, yeah, but if you're gonna get a visual novel rep, I know she's not technically a visual novel character, but like Kamaru would be a better fit for her then because she's actually got a gun. Hmm. But, but Komaida though. But, but Kamaru though. But Kamaida. But Kamaru. Kamaida. Kamaru. <laughs> Kamaru. Kamaida. <laughs> Zazel for Smash. Yeah, that's one I can agree on. Really? Yes. Don't. Yes, really? <laughs> yes. Don't interrupt our very important discussion. <laughs> 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 By the way, I found a I found a long haired uh, Kamaru sprite edit, and I'm like, well, fuck, it's cute. Mm. Did you send me it? Let me see. Come on, Discord, work with me here. I know my laptop is dying, but ah, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Here, I'll I'll, I'll link it in chat. I will link it in chat, cause I know you guys are gonna ask. Your Zoom profile picture. Hello, Sophia. Danganronpa is not tolerated for school guidelines on any circumstances. Danganronpa is forbidden at school, <laughs> meaning Nagino Kamida is not allowed. Please change your Zoom profile picture and your school email profile picture. Nagido is forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> God. Man. I wish Komaido was forbidden. Of course. Yeah, thank you for agreeing with me, Tsunipei. That hadn't been the reason, of course. No, what? 
He had asked to take care of the rabbit so that he could be near June. But it had been so long ago, he couldn't bring himself to tell her how he felt back then. Now that and I... currently feel now. <laughs> now that I see Kamaru with long hair, now I want to see Toko with short hair. Can you imagine hmm. that, Thorn? I can. I can also imagine Maki from short hair. Ooh. Yeah, Maki would look good. Yeah. Yeah, it is a pretty clean spray to edit. It's pretty neato. He would be... Embarrassing. <laughs> can you imagine? I can. He took a quick breath to clear his head, tossed the broom up, and snatched it out of the air, just to assert his dominance. <laughs> He pose now. Well, uh, we don't really have time to be walking down memory lane like this, you know? Hmm. We've got to figure out a way out of this room. Otherwise... Oh, Joe just posted Toko with short hair. Let me see. Let me Ooh, see. that's cute. Ooh, yeah, that looks really nice. Ooh, hell yeah. I'd be standing. All right. <laughs> you know, fun fact number ten of Danganronpa. If you re rearrange the letters in Kamaru, you get Mukuro, which is one letter, sh which is one letter of Mukuro. This absolutely means nothing because these characters are not connected in any way. <laughs> Mukuro Ikusaba, the sixteenth student, lying hidden, hidden somewhere. somewhere, in somewhere speak. <laughs> Watch out for her. Nani. Yes. Thank you for confirming, June. I'm gonna look over there. Okay. June nodded curtly, then turned and walked away. I should get back to it myself. Ah. That's right. Ah. The pool of blood. I heard Mukuro Ikusaba likes Makoto. Yes. What? Yes. Oh my god. I ship them. Like. I mean, so do I. Yeah. They're really good. <laughs> It is canon. It is. Junpei turned around and looked at the room. That snake's body. Chunks of flesh and organs still lay on the floor. By the way, talk about Mukuro's crush on chat. <laughs> Anyways, this man is dead and absolutely lying in spaghetti sauce. He is. Also, I'm like 99% sure that this is not snake. I think that they pulled a witch's heart on us. A white just hurt. Going on and on about <laughs> old times, right next to a corpse. What were we doing? Like you know the thing. Okay, so chat spoilers for Witch's Heart. Maybe you should watch my Urban's video series on Witch's Heart. Then you would know. Uh, but okay, I'll, I'll progress in the I'll progress in the story once I say it. But okay. like uh, in Witch's Heart, there's one thing uh, where uh, Ash like pretends like that his head gets cut off like by using uh Sirius's body I think it was uh and dressed it up in his clothes so I think that's what's happening with Snake like this isn't Snake's body but it's dressed up to look like Snake hmm. but yeah okay okay I'm done all right so that was what I meant. All right. Well, maybe it was because we're in this mess. Oh, boy! <laughs> Is Snake yeah. the mastermind? Perhaps. Oh. Perhaps. I bet he's in that Titanic cult with Akane. Despite such a situation, Situation. Shit, shit, situation. situation. Or perhaps because of the situation, the mind turned into the farthest thing from death that it could find. Even even though they were just talking about a bunch of rabbit deaths. <laughs> Still, Junpei couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt at wanting so desperately to live when Snake lay dead before him. Is this Metal Gear? Snake! Snake! Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> A death game to surpass Metal Gear. Metal Gear. You have to survive, <laughs> no matter the cost. 
I need to make sure she gets out too. As he stared at the clumps of blackened flesh, all Junpei could think of was how much he wanted to live. Was Snake the mastermind controlling Monokuma all along? You know, it 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 adds up. It, it adds might as up. well be. Yeah. Junko who? Junko, the step on me queen. <laughs> the cough up queen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been like uh, watching uh, playthroughs of uh, Ace Attorney. And I saw like the the one case with this chick called something star, and like she's uh -huh. called the cough up queen, and I'm like, oh, she could make me cough up anytime, queen. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 hmm. What are you doing with the broom? Don't 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 worry, Santa. Don't, don't judge. Worry. Yeah. Only I can judge you. <laughs> Thanks. A thick pipe that stretches across the floor. Alright, looks like that's everything in this one. Mm, but... Metal gear. Oh, wait. Can we... Oh. Toilet paper, but it's got red markings on it. That's a rare sight. <laughs> cough, cough, that's you. Oh. <laughs> That's me? Yeah, you're Santa, aren't you? Oh, oh, shoot. It's toilet paper with some kind of red symbols on it. You think maybe that's a Sightail cipher? Sightail cipher? What the hell is that? You wrap a piece of paper around a stick and then write several sentences on it so that the whole paper is filled up. Then you unwrap the paper and you can't tell what the original message was, right? That's all. Oh. Work. Mike went out for a second. Mine? E. Okay, I think it's all right now. Bah, humbug. Bah, humbug. Then to decipher it, you gotta stab the stick that's the same diameter as the original one. Same diameter as the original one, huh? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Then you just wrap this paper around that stick, and then you can read the whole code. Well... Let me wrap it around this stick. Huh. Huh. What if I wrap the toilet paper around the brown? There we go. Yeah, now you can read the message. Oh, so you wrap the toilet paper around the broom, huh? Is this why Maybe. so? <laughs> is this why people bought so many toilet paper at the start of the year? Yes, they want to see All what the for code is. Fibers. <laughs> Looks like the symbols line up perfectly. Wonderful. It says six thirty four plus. Yes. What does that mean? Is it six plus three plus four? Maybe. So that's four then. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a death number, though. By the way, um, Yen was telling me, like, oh, yeah, you guys are doing good, and, you know, you're you're doing really good remembering all the things. I'm like, I don't remember anything about these puzzles. And they're like, <laughs> what? You don't? You've just been figuring out this whole time? He's like, yep, pretty much. <laughs> a wooden box. Snake. Metal gear. There's something in here. Oh, we got luminol. We can find blood splatter now. Uh, okay, I think there's some in the corner. I can't be sure though. I've got to check the cactus. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Some kind of spray bottle? It's a brace bottle. Thank you. <laughs> there's something written on it. Lumen can't read anything else. The label's all faded. Illumination. Life is your creation. <laughs> Let me see that. He just grabbed it from him. That wasn't very nice. Oh, this is Luminol. You know, forensics guys use it at crime scenes. Oh, yeah. That stuff that glows blue when you spray it on blood? 
Even if the blood's been wiped off, it'll still glow. I remember Luminol well because there's like trauma, trauma team has a forensics mode and it's fucking long. And one of the things that you gotta do a lot is use Luminol on the crime scenes. I fucking love forensics and trauma team. Made up like half of the game. Not gonna lie, I actually, um, I really like games like this where you actually have to search and find, find stuff. Because <laughs> when I was younger, I would always play like, um, escape games, like escape the car, escape the nurse station, escape the house. Ooh. I play all those kinds of different games. So I think that's why I've, I'm, I've been drawn to games like this <laughs> and like your turn to die and stuff. Yeah. They're fun. Yeah. The dividing wall that separates the toilets. I know, I really like, like, point-and-click kind of games. Like, I don't know, have you ever played the Blackwell series of games? Blackwell, I... that sounds familiar. Okay, so it's, uh, you play as, like, this girl with, like, orange hair, and she has, like, a blue ghost that, like, she's connected to, and they have to, like, find a way to, like, have him pass on. And they, like, solve ghost crimes. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I've heard of those. I haven't played them myself, though. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, I played those, I think, when I was, like, in high school or something. And, yeah, I remember playing those and really liking them. I, I know I know. some people have been telling me to play, um... What was it? Deathmark? Oh, yeah, I've heard of that, too. Uh... Yeah, I've been told that I should play them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you think this is? Yeah, is that the one with the the hot dude? With... I guess. Let, let me look it up real fast. <laughs> Death mark. First of all, is that the one with the hot dude? Oh, you mean every single game ever? Please be more descriptive. Okay, this is the one with the hot girl. The the like girl that's like dressed up as like kind of like a goth Lolita. Yeah, I like I like her design. I've been wanting to play oh. that one too, but no money. <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, she does look. She do look cute. Yeah. It looks like tar. Tar. It's kind of sticky. I don't think we can just wipe it off. That looks like the stuff I put when I clean in the the toilet, though. Yeah, that's what I thought it was at first too. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like tar to me. I doubt just pouring some water on it's gonna help much either. What about hot water? Hot water? Hot potato, hot potato. <laughs> if we had some really hot water, like boiling hot, then maybe that would wash it off. Well. It could be. There's some kind of weird stain in the toilet bowl. Oh, someone took a number two, I guess. It's a water tank for a toilet. I've seen a lot of OC guys try and hide a piece in something like this. Usually for a 187 or something. Guess they think it's clever. Don't know when they'll figure out everybody else thinks. It's clever too. <laughs> huh? I mean, I know peace, but what's OC? Original crime. character. Do not steal. Organized crime! Yeah! I remembered it! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's original character, obviously. Uh, organized crime is my OC. Please don't steal. <laughs> He's your Sonic OC, organized crime? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes out and murders every other OC, so that he's the only one. <laughs> What is that? Some kind of police slang? Well, I like your OC, Born. Very original. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For his neutral special, does he wield a gun? Oh, you bet. <laughs> huh? Uh, probably. Huh? What'd I say? Why does he all look sad now? That's not really important right now, guys. Let's just check it out, alright? 
Well, he's not wasting any time. Yeah, it's not like we're on a timer and we'll die in like five hours or anything, guys. Let's Don't just... worry, it'll still take us two hours to get out of this room, though. <laughs> yeah, let's just sit here and talk about the Titanic. Yeah, so anyway, welcome to our uh, podcast on the Titanic sinking. What do you think about the situation so far, Starry Bunny Boy? My 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 guest, even though I'm the guest. <laughs> Well, I think that it's a very cool thing, you know, with like the iceberg and all that. Very cool. Very cool, Jokey. Very cool. <laughs> Looking cool, Jokey. I'm dying, Morgana. <laughs> <laughs> Morgana, I'm literally dying. Why are you like this? Bufu dying. <laughs> oh, we got a screwdriver. Now you can do Wingardium Leviosa, Barn. Finally. <laughs> It's I've waited so long. <laughs> we can unscrew things with this, and now Boring can do magic. Yeah, you bet. Was there something we needed un to unscrew somewhere? I yeah, our situation. Yeah. <laughs> unscrew ourselves from this situation. Yes, precisely. I'm glad you agree. We're screwed. The toilet's tank. It goes pew pew. <laughs> There's nothing in it. Which means we can't flush it without water. It's kind of hard to flush. <laughs> well, I guess let's leave then. Yeah, I guess we can. If you really want to. Wait, did I check? Yeah, I think you checked them all. Okay. Some toilet paper on the shelf. Okay, that was not toilet paper that mattered, I guess. No, nope. that toilet paper wasn't special. Damn. There's nothing in the toilet. If there was, that would be gross. Man up, Seven. Come on. Onwards. There might be something in the tank, you know? Let's open that shit up. Ah, uh, there is. Hey, there's something floating in here. Mm, this one has water in it. Yeah, do. Is that a card? Let's see. Collect it. A red Ooh, key card. It's red key. Nice. Okay. Very cool, Joker. <laughs> Alright. Now. Uh, I already checked all three toilets, you know, but are you certain that you checked it all correctly, though, Santa? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, S Santa. Nothing unusual there. Yup. Oh, I see something down there. Huh? Looks like there's something down there. On that grate. I, I think it's a card. Yeah, it's a blue card. Can't reach it, though. It's too deep. If only we had a, like, stick, and you put on, like, a string on it, and then you attach gum to it, then we could get it. Yeah, that would work. Is this... Hold on. Let's put this card in there so that we can get both cards stuck. Yeah, let me see if this would work. I doubt it. Hey, Junpei, isn't this card kind of like the red card? Yeah, it looks similar. You're talking about the one we found in the toilet, right? Yeah. The red f card floated, didn't it? Also, we gotta put water in here. Yeah, it did. So, well, then this blue one probably floats too, right? Float. Yeah, it might. Well, it's a good thing that we have a bucket. Yep, we do have Kana with us in spirit. <laughs> it's this one, right? There's, yeah, I believe this was what this was oh. it. Oh, that was new dialogue, sorry. That's okay, nothing. It doesn't flush. Well, because the tank's empty, genius. <laughs> wow. Damn. The pipe that's supposed to be filled must be clogged. Well, can you just get some water and pour it straight in there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you could, actually. It's very genius. So it's this one. I'm glad I thought of it. The tank where the red card was. Nothing here now. 
Why won't you fill the bucket with the water? I'm pretty sure... Isn't there a sink somewhere? Oh, let me see. Well, or like the... Maybe the shower, actually. Mm. It's a therm... It's a... It's a thermometer. <laughs> were, were you really struggling to say that? Yeah, I, I can't say therm... Ther, ther, thermometer... Thermometer? Yeah, thermometer. Thermometer. To make it easier for you to say, you can say thermometer. Thermometer? Yeah, thermometer. Okay. I knew that would help you. Thank you. No problem. Can you get it off? No. Oh, wait, that's Junpei. It's screwed on the wall. Well, it's a good thing that we, we have... have a screwdriver. Oh my god, how great. Jeez, how man. amazing. You know why thermometers only go up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit? No, I, I can't say I ever thought about that. Is it because we die? It got worse? At I 107 wish. degrees, the cells in the human body start to die, and the organs begin to shut down. The proteins <clears> in your cells start to harden. It's like when you hard boil an egg. Even if you cool it down afterwards, it won't go back to being a raw egg. In other words, it's dead. That's why thermometers don't go past 107. There's no point. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. But it's pretty rare for a fever to get that high. Even viruses and stuff don't usually drive the body temperature up to 107. Of course, there are other external things that could like what well let's see something like getting locked in a sauna oh so you're talking about kiyotaka huh yeah we're getting thrown into an incinerator and burnt to death <laughs> yeah i guess that would get a little hotter than 107 degrees fahrenheit just a little just a little bit you know just a little <laughs> All right, I got it. Huh? What's up? <sighs> uh, nothing. Forget about it. You've disappointed what your boyfriend. All about? <laughs> As it should be. Okay, so we got the thermometer. I used the screw. Oh, that used yeah, up you did the it. screw. Okay. Yeah. You ever you ever just use screwdriver one time and then it snaps? <laughs> oh, you took the thermometer off. It says open at the bottom of the gauge. I wonder what it means. Maybe when it gets that hot, something will open. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we got lock here. I'd... Yes. Is it, what but was there that? are two of them. Oh, there are two of them. Oh, I see. So I would need the red you and the blue. You need the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. If I can get this hot water on the thermometer, then maybe. All right, thermometer. Let's get this party started. Party rockers in the house tonight. It's party rock is. <laughs> and then we hold hands furiously. <laughs> yep, looks like that's doing the trick. It's going and going and going and going and going, going, going. <laughs> there goes the gauge. And now it's at the open mark. Hmm? Whom's the fuck? <laughs> it opened. What's this? Looks like there's a piece of paper in here. 957 plus. Okay. Yeah. What does it mean? 9 plus 5 plus 7 plus. Or 957 plus. That means. That means you're, you're supposed to add some. Oh. That's you, sorry. It's all good. 
That means you're supposed to add something to 957, doesn't it? That's seven. Uh, well, yeah, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Problem is, what to add? A number, genius. <laughs> Duh. I wonder if it's three because we're in the third room. Mayhaps. Oh. There's a piece of paper tied to this pipe with a wire. Notice, drain valve operation. Please do not flush the water in these pipes. Doing so may cause the drain to overflow. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Uh... Uh, I can't. I can't remember the exact solution to, but I know you have to figure something out. Hmm. I'll, I'll come back to this. Yeah, probably good idea. I would just be blindly. Uh, so you know that hot water that you poured on the thermometer? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what happens if I turn you. Nope, nothing. Not even a drop. Is the pipe clogged? Oh, so yeah, you need to do... So that'll make it so that you can pour water in the bucket because you unclog the drain and then it goes out the shower and fills the drain then you get the card. Okay. Awesome. Oh. Hmm. Is it? Okay. So let's see. It was like hot water that you used to get the thermometer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um. Trying to remember how to do this. Yeah. Cry is a big brain moment. Let me hmm. see. Let's see. You have luminol. Oh, yeah, we haven't oh, really oh, used oh. luminol yet. Yeah, spray the luminol on the blood stain, I think. Yeah, that might be good. Wait. You don't really think we're supposed to use the luminol here, do you? Yeah, it does seem kind of weird to use it here. But maybe I should try it just in case. Well... So yeah, now you can... It, it doesn't show anything. Okay, I've ah. sprayed the luminol on the wall. What's next? You need to shut the light off. Oh. Yeah, because lumen and all. Mm. Oh, there's, so the, L, there's the puzzle. L, L, R, L, R, L. Okay. So, oh, oh, yeah. oh. This is a puzzle for the, for the pipes. You turn them left, left, right, left, right, left, right? Yeah. Okay, so... You, you really should have ended that sentence with, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> left, left, right, left, right, left, right? Right. I guess. I suppose. Okay, so this is... Oh, wait. Left. Left. Right. Was it left, left right, left? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did what it said on the wall. Always listen to walls. <laughs> I wonder if it actually did it. Let me see. Well, Watch now it. try to... Make it work. Hey, the stream's acting up. What the hell did you do? Everything. <laughs> I just messed with the valves a little. Nothing big. And now it should work, right? Really hot water comes out of the shower. I got the feeling it might be still be useful for something else. Yes. Now you must get the bucket out. Come on, Kana. Kana, you will be useful this day. Maybe I can use the shower here to fill the bucket with hot water. Hey, uh, Seven, could you turn on the shower? I'm going to put the bucket under the head. Ah, okay, sure thing. Nice. Bucket filled with hot water. It's filled with hot water. Try not to spill it, okay? Because that'll be a bitch. <laughs> it's heavy. Okay, okay. I'll carry it. Thank you, Junpei. Junpei is very poggers. 
He's a manly bastion. Wait, yes. Just got wet. Um. Oh, go ahead. Oh, jumpy! The card is floating. Looks like the water floated the card up out of the drain. Then let us grab it. Blue card's floating in the water. Why won't you grab it? Did you click directly on? Oh, yeah, I clicked directly on it. Try clicking the drain. There must be water flowing through the pipe on the right. There's water pouring out of the drain. Oh, there we go. The blue key card. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, it's the blue key card. Yeah. This is um, the symbol for Mercury, right? There was an elevator right outside the big hospital room. I think the same symbol was used on the card reader next to it. That's right. I guess that means we're not supposed to use this card in this room. Um, do you really think so? You don't think maybe we need it for this room and for the elevator? Oh, you know what? You're right. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Can I use that here? Password is four digits. Oh, sorry. It's all good. <laughs> Nothing happens when I press these buttons. Well, it looks like the power's on. I'm wondering what the deal is with those things that say lock up there, though. Can I use my card on it? Uh, probably. Oh, hey. Blue light just came on. And let's use the red one. Huh? The blue light was just on, but it's off now. And the red light's on instead. Guess we have to swipe the red card first and then the blue card. Okay. Gotta go in order now. You can't be rushing it. <laughs> Great job, Jumpy. Great job. Muchas gracias. Otsukade sama desta. Oh shit. <laughs> you one upped me. <laughs> Both of the lights are on now. Now you just need to put in the password. Okay, so I'm guessing it's these codes here that we have. Yeah, um, it's 957 plus... What were these? 634. Okay. So, maybe we gotta add them together? Yeah, I'm guessing so, because you can't, if you digital root it, it won't have enough digits. Yeah. Okay, so... So, what was it? 634? Yeah. So... Uh, 15, 80, 90, 15, 90, one. One. Yeah. 15, 91, okay. Yeah. Let's put that in. Those lights are on. We should be able to enter the password now. What's with these E and C keys? To enter and to clear. Yeah, this you can skip because you already know it. A means enter and C means clear, I think. So after you put in the password, hit E. If you screw it up, hit C. Okay, so it was 1591, right? Yeah. Oh! That was Error. it. Did we add it up wrong? Hmm. Well, there's a calculator, so... Oh, that's true. Okay, so... What is this? 634. 634. 634. 634 plus 957 equals 1591. Okay, that, that was right. Hmm. But... Try, try 1951. Okay. 1951. Nope. Huh. Missing something here. 
Yeah, I can't remember what it is though. Yeah. Uh, what all items we got? Um, try spraying the. Oh, we already oh. used the luminol. Yeah. So it's already gone. Oh, 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 oh. Um, we never poured the water down the toilet. Oh, that's right. Okay, what what toilet did we need it for? Okay, that was just yeah. Okay. No, no, no. We had to pour it in the in the seat itself. Oh, in the seat. We had to wash off the tar. That's right. If I flush the hot water from the bucket, that should clean it up. Yeah, let's put it in. Go. Some of... Oh, 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 yeah. You do have to pour it in the back so that way you can flush it. Okay. I'm sorry for leading you astray all this time. It's okay, boy. All right, so I just pour the hot water into this tank and. Looks like you filled it. Now you should be able to flush it, right? There's probably a handle somewhere on the tank you, sh you can pull. You think so? You think so. <laughs> Serious? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right. What is toilet? Something like, okay. Yeah. You need to, you need to press the button that from the back. All right, let's flush the hot water. Let's go, gamers. <laughs> Check more, oh. gamers. Yeah. Well, there it goes. Just like a toilet should work, usually, okay. sometimes. Oh, 185. Okay, there we so go. Nine, so 1591 plus 185 okay. is 17... seventeen seventy six. 1776? Okay. I, I believe so. Oh, hey there, White Bears. Thank you for checking in. Have a good night yourself, White Bears. Good night. Bye, White Bears. Yes, Elio said their catchphrase. I hate that. That's catchphrase. Yep. Oftentimes, he usually will. <laughs> so, so what was the code again? Uh, 1776. 1776. 1776. There we go. All right, let's go. I did that math in my head. Oh my god! Wow. Mm. You found it. <laughs> Hog champ gamers. Pogus. There's a large iron door at the end. Yes, there is. You're correct. Good job. Let's take a look. Oh, it's still in adventure mode. Oh, shoot. Let me... No, that's fine. It happens. There we go. Yes. Oh, I have 1k points. You know what that means. <laughs> you found it, guys. Gamers. <laughs> that's a point. Oh, God. I, I was asked to make that a new point reward. I am not doing that. Yeah, no, that's... That is no. Yeah. <laughs> they turned around. Oh, that means Nyaz, right? Not <laughs> the dirty adult, right? No, 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 no. I technically didn't give you a free one because all I said was na, not nya. True. You were giving them the nas. I was. Seven was doing something to the door of the shower room. Oh, white bears will leave Hagu in peace today. That was very Finally. poggers of you, White Bears. White Bears know what's that. <laughs> white Bears is a kind and gentle soul. What are you doing, Seven? Well, I figure maybe we might want to come back here sometime. So, I stuck the broom in there to keep the door from shutting. Alright, let's go. See, Seven is smart. <laughs> With that, he stood up and began walking down the hallway. He brushed past Junpei and kept going. After a moment, the rest of them followed him. Before long, they found themselves at the large iron door. They had only been there for a moment when June spoke up. You know, the whole... I, I don't know why this triggered a memory in me. With a seven put in the door to, like, stop the door. Uh, yeah. But do you remember in Death Note when, like, uh, Light p 
put in like what was it like a pencil like yeah pencil lead yeah pencil lead at the door so that he would see when someone would enter his room yeah like that <laughs> that like made me think as like i think i watched that in high school so i i actually would put it at my door to see if someone would enter but it was always me that broke it <laughs> <laughs> Jumpy, look! Look, Jumpy. He turned. There, on the right side of the hallway, was a piece of paper attached to the wall. What's up? What's that on the wall there? Oh, I, I think it's... A piece of paper. Taped to the wall! <laughs> Jumpy ran over and peeled it off. A map of the ship's interior? Now, can you, can you tell me... Yes? Can you tell me what the big reveal about this floor is just now? Uh, let me see. I can't point with my mouse, but can you tell what the rightmost part of the of the ship is? That's like the the med bay area, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna I won't say anything else. I want you to see if you can figure it out before the game even tells you. So let me see. There's like. The rooms, so you can go, or, so, did we go through, we went through the three door, is that the one that's on the, like, very far end, I think? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can go in there, and then, let's see, so you can't get a way out from door three, unless you go into the other room, so you can go, let me see. You can go into all of the other doors if you, like, navigate correctly. Like, there's all these hallways that can take you to the other rooms that you can go into. Mm-hmm. So, like, we can meet up with others or others can, like, navigate through and pretend that they weren't someplace. But they were able to navigate through as long as they know the map area correctly. All right, you're you you've you done good, you done good. <laughs> you you were you were very close. I was very close. Yeah. the The trick is that all of these doors loop right back around to to the med bay. Mm -hmm. So this is like a closed. This is this is basically a closed hallway. Mm -hmm. There was never a way out in the in the first place. Ah, uh, shit. So it's the map for this floor then. We'll have time to study it later. Let's keep going for now. Jimpy folded the map and stuffed it into his pocket. I hate how I can't hear Med Bay without thinking of Among Us. <laughs> I can't believe the cast of 999 is playing Among Us. I kind of want to do that now. Like, have everyone named after different characters in yep. 999 and then play Among Us. That would be fun. Like, if you, like, roleplay as, like, the characters, too. Like... <laughs> And like use different, they only use lines from the game to try and defend yourself. <laughs> one plus one equals two. <laughs> <laughs> that would make you so sus. <laughs> That's kind of sus, Junpei. One plus one equals two. <laughs> equals three. There, there's a big one I would love to say, but I can't say it yet. I, I can't even joke about it until you get to a certain part. Gotcha. You have to at least get one, or you have to at least get one certain ending before I can make the reference. Gotcha. I hope I can get it then. Yeah. Back at the door, the four of them lined up in front of it. Santa stepped forward. He grabbed hold of the door and turned to look back at the rest of them. Ready? I'm gonna open it. He's gonna open it. They nodded. Santa nodded back and then threw the door open. And they were roommates. All four of them leapt through, gracefully as a ballerina. <laughs> I want to see the... that. I want to see Seven specifically jumping through the air in like a tutu. <laughs> Just pure wedding? Yes. <laughs> I think that's the term. You're shitting me. It took only for a moment for them to realize where they were. We are back. They had been there only a short time ago. It 
It was a large hospital room filled with countless beds. Where's Ace? Lotus and Clover looked up as they entered. I've been looking for a bit. Gonna be making some of my Halloween art. Okay, good luck okay, with that, you do Hugu. That. <laughs> you do that, we're gonna be simping over Lotus. <laughs> and Clover. Of course. Ace was there as well, although he looked like he had only just now woken up. Clover! Lotus! And Ace! I'm glad you're all okay. Uh, Lotus? What are you... The moment they spotted Junpei, Lotus and Clover headed straight for him. Please simp for Lotus for me too. Please and thanks. Of course, Hagu. Of course. As she neared him, Lotus drew back her hand. Ooh. And slapped him open palmed across the face. God, I wish. I was that me. <laughs> <laughs> Same brain cell. you do this to us well i mean if it if it makes you slap me then it was all i'll worth do it, it again yeah <laughs> we know what's up yeah her face was furious <sighs> she grabbed junpei by the collar and shook him violently clover didn't touch him but the hate in her eyes was no less potent it was seven who slapped them Knock it off. We got bigger shit to worry about right now. His deep voice echoed across the massive room. Lotus glared at Seven, but let Junpei go after one last violent shake. What? Go have a look. Um. I stuck the screwdriver in the door. Oh. Very smart, Seven. Yeah, that's what he was doing there. before. One without a number. As long as the screwdriver's there, it can't shut. So you can get in there. There's a shower room past there. I stuck a broom at the door there, too. Anyway, go take a look. Then you're saying we can go in there without passing through the numbered door? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Wait, what the hell is in there? You'll know. You'll see. see. <laughs> You'll see when um, you know it. Fine, let's go. Oh, don't take Clover with you. Well, Clover was the only one who. Well, they were the only two who didn't get the chance to see it. Other I, I than know, Ace, I guess. but they can take her and see the dead body of Snake, and she's gonna think Snake's dead. She's gonna go crazy. Yeah. Lotus and Clover looked at one another for a moment, then nodded and stepped through the door. Yo, stop! Stop Clover from going. <laughs> Well, they didn't know how to tell her themselves, so she needs to find out for herself. And that's even worse! By then, Ace had made his way to them, moving with the stiff, shuffling steps of someone who had only just woken from a lengthy slumber. My goodness. I, I wish, I wish I had... Come back for me. <laughs> I, I wish I had slow, lumbering steps when I wake up. When I wake up, I'm usually in a, in a rush to get up, so like I don't have a chance to take things slowly. Yeah. I feel not that. even when I over, not even when I oversleep. Just usually, like, I'll get up out of bed like I'm like I have a lot of energy, just so I can try to force myself to do stuff, and then I just never do anything. Yeah, I have to do that. I have to force myself to wake up. Like, I have to like jolt myself up out of bed and like do something. Otherwise, I'll just go right back to sleep. Yeah, and I've realized that, and I it, it's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. And he shook his head weakly. Should I go as well? Yeah. Seven nodded. Very well. Ace followed Lotus and Clover with a stiff, tired gait. I think that's probably a, a big part of why I like streaming now. Because I'd be like, oh, I have to get up now. Like, I have a stream today. Yeah, I kind of have that, but then at the same time, I always argue against it. Like, I have to stream today, but do I really want to? And then I just, like, don't. Yeah. It, it's, like, a good really motivator bad. if you have nothing to do that day to, like, be able to wake up and do something. Otherwise, I would probably just be sleeping right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the bad thing about being a doll is that you kind of have to make yourself wake up and do things. Yeah. You have to wake up, get up out, out there. <laughs> wake up, get up, get up there.
The squeal of tortured metal made Junpei's teeth curl. It sounded like the noise of a ghost would make. How, no matter how many times he heard it, he never got used to it. Every time it put him on edge. It didn't help that there was a girl nearby who looked far more like a ghost than the living human should. Is it Clover? Did they come back? It's Clover. <sighs> I can knew it. Y'all! Y'all. <laughs> Honey, it's okay. We're, we'll get you We'll get you a nice maid outfit just so you can look pretty, and that way we can also import you, okay? Yes! Lotus in a, in a, in a maid outfit. Yo. 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 Shiver me timbers. That. I need that. <laughs> she sat on the edge of the bed, her head drooping listlessly onto her chest. Her eyes were blank and stared across the room at nothing. Her breathing was slowed and mechanical. Aside from the rise and fall of her chest, she didn't move. Jinbei felt as if even a nudge might cause her to shatter into a thousand pieces. Snake was probably murdered. If only she would shatter me into a thousand pieces. God, please. <laughs> Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. Seven lowered his voice slightly in an effort to keep Clover from hearing what he had to say. In a very closed room that echoes. <laughs> there were four of the people in the room with Juke made and Seven. Ace, Santa, June, and Lotus. Seven looked at each one of them in turn and continued. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. I still don't think this is Snake. I still think Snake is like... Potentially with the villains, potentially, and... Because we never saw his head, he could have just dressed up a body to make it look like Snake. There's, mm. There's been too many games that do that to make me not believe when I see just the body with clothes. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. And once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't uh, I'll up. be right back. Okay. I guess it's just me now. And you, you can continue on. I, I already kind of know what's going to happen. Just gotcha. keep going. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Well, chat, now you got to deal with just me. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is Snake. I, I think that potentially maybe Snake murdered someone. And then he took his clothes off and put it on the dead body to make it look like he died so he can wander around. Because, like, Snake is one of the ones that, like, if you think that he's murdered, you'd be like, okay, that that's, like, reasonable because, like, he's blind so he can't navigate all that well. But I think because of that, he, he like, makes people think that, like, I don't know. That's just how I think. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. He's in the Titanic cult. I'm calling it now. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Yeah, that suit you do be looking pretty fine, though. This imaginary snake do be looking kind of fine. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Also, is this the first time that they've shown Snake open his eyes? Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? Hmm. You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Um, hmm. Junpei crossed his arms and grunted. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? Yeah, that's like the question. Like, the blood was all dried up, so it couldn't have been a fresh kill. And Snake had separated from us 
not not too long ago, so I don't think that the blood would have had that much time to dry up, right? So I think that was a corpse that had been there for a while that maybe Snake prepared. Like maybe when even we before all the split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. He could have had that set up before even the game began. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. Because this is still taking place over nine hours, so... Nine persons, nine doors? <laughs> Hello, Vine. Welcome back. Hello, I am back. <laughs> so what... what um, just a little just a little refresher. What do they, what do they just talk about? Uh, they were talking about how Snake died in the third room, like, guessing how, like, there were multiple people that did it because he couldn't enter just by himself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm guessing... So, like, my theory right now is Snake had a uh, person, killed them, and this is before the game even started, I'm assuming, potentially, and then he fit in with the group but he's like, with these groups of whoever is behind this, I'm guessing. Okay. But yeah. And I I brought up how like the blood was a bit dried up. So. Like okay. this is still okay. over nine hours, so. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So yeah. I, it just makes me curious about with the blood being dried up, if we haven't been that separated for that long. Like well, you know, long? like if you, I mean, you know, like if you like things can dry and get sticky very quickly. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, like I probably don't know. probably like an hour at most, and they were looking for everything for an hour, and Snake was missing for an hour. Yeah, but they could also be using that as like a way to make people think that you know, oh, this is like a natural way of the blood drying, but perhaps I don't know, I don't know. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. It's just, it like makes sense, but it's also like, doesn't add up for me. Okay. Yeah. That means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? June seems shocked. Seemed say shocked. That so <laughs> June is now Static Shock. God, please. I love that show. <laughs> You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. It was Clover. Why would Why Clover kill her own brother? Exactly. It's what they want you to think. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Well, whatever Any Zero wants, a Zero gets. And loser. Mm -hmm. Especially if we're talking about Zero from uh, Dragon Guard. Whoever God. makes it through door nine is a winner, <laughs> and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. One we one me. We have to trust one another <laughs> and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. Well, you see, here's the thing. I, I want Zero from Drakengard to manipulate me. <laughs> I completely and I haven't understand. even played the game. I haven't even played the game. I've just seen, like, a, a video about it and, like... Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I haven't played Drakengard myself, but I have seen her. And I've also seen... There's, like, this one boy in that... That's got, like, brown hair... And he looks like he's insane, and I'm like, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> All the pieces are coming together. Yeah. I, I desperately want to play Drake and Guard, but at the same time, I am afraid of playing Drake and Guard. Because <sighs> I've, I've had one of my friends come over, and they were doing the final boss, where it's like a rhythm game thing. 
and it was uh, so fucking hard. Yeah, um, I think Zero's from Dragon Guard three, and then that's from Dragon Guard one and yeah. E. And I know that because ending E from Dragon Guard one is what leads into Near, and Near Automata is a really fun game that I haven't even beat. I haven't even gotten like halfway. Th I've, yeah. I'm only I've only ever gotten to the very beginning of the game. Yeah, same here. I have Near Automata, and I only got to like the desert area. Which is like yeah. at the very start of the game. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> if there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm. Good question. Oh, Jackie is saying play the game, y'all. Uh, I will. I swear I will. Don't Jackie's, kill me. Jackie's gonna kill us. <laughs> I'll play more of it. I promise. I want to get near replicant. Yeah. When it comes out. Yeah, that looks really good. Because it, it's about the, it's a remake. I know that much. Yeah, and that's supposed to be like the the prequel to Near Automata. <laughs> yes, and I love it mostly because they chose replicant because Gestalt is or Gestalt is the one where you play as uh, Dad Near. Yeah. And, and I think I think small nears fits well. Yeah, I think we never got replicant, right? No, replicant was Japanese only. Yeah, so I'm glad that they're doing a remake of that and not the one that we got. Yeah, because he looks very strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, prequel. I'm not sure if I want to start with Dragon Guard or just jump into like near itself. Uh, they make, I know they make, uh, references to Drakengard, because the thing in Drakengard that relates to Nier is that, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. Well, like, I, I know, from what I've saw, what, from what I've seen of the ending, so I guess, uh, Drakengard 1 ending, uh, spoilers? Uh, I've seen from the ending of Drakengard 1, the ending that specifically goes into Nier, that's the one where, like, the dragon gets shot down, right? And, like... Yeah. The... It it leaves something behind that, like, destroys the world, kind of. Like... Like a virus or something. Or, like, yeah. a gas or something. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but I know it turns into people... If you, it turns people into pillars of salt. Mm hmm Yeah. If they refuse to allow God to mess with their minds. Mm-hmm. Because you either become salt or you become a bloodthirsty, mindless slave. Gotcha. So it's very cool. <laughs> we never got replicant small near over here, so yeah. I don't mind dad near, but there's some points where you think, yeah, that'd suit boy near more. <laughs> yeah, I know there's specifically a point where, like, near's like, we're, where in the game you're like, the character says, yay, we're friends. We, we're, we have deep friendships. Like, that would fit more with, like, anime boy and not, like, anime man. Hmm. Yeah, Dragon Guard's lead into Nier is the Queen Beast teleported. That, that, that's like the baby one, right? Yeah, um, Queen Beast. Queen Beast dies. Um, the uh, Tokyo Air Force shot them down. That's right. Yeah. And then like, and the then it comes with the, then it comes with the best boy Emil. <laughs> I I I have seen Emil. I would definitely stay on Emil. <laughs> I will say I love that we we've joked about making it a podcast before, and now we're kind of just doing that. Yeah, <laughs> we're it's not a let's play. This is a podcast. All right, well, let, let's progress with the story a bit more. Yeah, if Junpei Snake hadn't considered Snake, that. Then Zero is on the ship with us. Junpei, was Zero still on the ship with them? Oh God! Now think 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 of this really fast. Mm-hmm. So Zero set up rules to make it so they would uh, they would die if they didn't follow them. Yeah. Why then would Zero deliberately go out of his way to kill a participant? True. Because that would immediately invalidate all the rules and make anarchy. Yeah. The game would be invalid at that point. Hmm. So I'm guessing no. Like, he would have a way to move around if he's zero, but, like... Mm, yeah. Yeah. But then again, not really, because... Yeah, not really, because he would need numbers still. 
Yeah, he would need to follow the rules of his own game. Yeah, he'd have to go in after they would go in. But, like, if he went in, then wouldn't people, like, see him? Especially yeah. if we're in, especially if we're in these rooms specifically, since they all loop around. Like, someone would have seen him. Yeah, definitely, by this point, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, something's still strange. Hmm? What was that? Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? Ace's eyebrows shot up. Really, Junpei? I confess I'm a little disappointed. Usually, you're rather sharp. Hey, just, just, li just listen to him, Ace. He's got a point. Isn't it obvious? Wait, it is? This ship. Huh? Zero said, this ship, several times when he addressed us. Oh, I think you got, well, it's my son. Oh. <laughs> uh, is, is Hagu, do, do you want me to oh wait Hagu is lurking but yeah. I'll say it anyway yeah. I am Zero the captain of the ship the purpose of this game is simple leave this ship alive as you have no doubt surmised the ship has begun to sink if he weren't here he wouldn't say this ship, would he? He'd be saying something like that ship or the ship. Or the ship you find yourself yeah, on. I, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> zero. Did they name themselves Zero because they thought, oh man, everyone has cool number based nicknames. I want one too. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's what I think. <laughs> Ace's explanation made perfect sense. Junpei felt a little foolish that he hadn't seen it himself. As if this is set in, like, Japan, then it could also be, like, whoever this is. Like, their real name is, like, Rei. Because Rei means zero. Yeah. Still, he was left with the question, and it was one of, it was one of no small importance. If zero's on the ship, where is he? Probably hmm. at the exit. Suddenly, everyone went very quiet. The silence was cold and clammy, and Junpei could feel it crawling across his back and around his throat. Are they crawling on your back, though? Yeah. Your sins? I write sins, not tragedies. <laughs> Again, hear the ghosting moaning noise. And moments later, a person who looked more ghost than human appeared. It was Clover. She looked at the floor as she spoke, and her voice was a cold monotone. Bold of you to assume Zero is a man with that obvious voice changer. True. True. Could, could be a girl. I think. Could be a Kane. Dun, dun, dun. For revenge of the cats. Or the rabbits. <laughs> the rabbits. <laughs> Honestly, it could have been... It could have been cats that, that got the rabbits, now that, we, now that I think about it. Yeah, it could. Because I never really thought about it too much when I first played the game. But yeah, you know, it, honestly, it could have just accidentally, like, some rabbits got in and, like, killed the chickens or the rabbits. Yeah, some, like, cats could jump in, kill the rabbits. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like, it's, they it's very possible. Yeah, they didn't say specifically how the rabbits died, like. Yeah, they were just, they were just dead. That's yeah. it. Connie. Revenge of the rabbits. Bum, Revenge of the bum, Sith. Bum. <laughs> I love the sound effect. <laughs> it's a Kane. Like I freaked out. I freaked out when I'm I was playing I the Somnium Files and when I switched to PC it has the sound effects from this game. Oh man. <laughs> and I I I was freaking out for a bit. <laughs> Every human body in the room froze. The only sound was the muffled rustling of breath. Eyes darted from face to face. One of those faces was the face of their jailer. But who? Whomst? Was he one of them? Now think. 
Hmm. There's 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 two there's two purposes to this. Oh. One, what do you personally think? Two, are you going to stand by Clover's side? Hmm. Well, I'm going to go with what I think. I okay. think it's possible. You think it's possible? Yeah, okay. I think it's possible. I think it's a cotton aid. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's possible. It's either a con aid or snake. Huh? That's what I'm guessing. Hmm. Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. Also, Juno is the first one that reacted when he said that's possible. Hmm. Huh. What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Hmm. Wait. Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. He's not suspecting him for no reason. He he's kind of going with the point you made. That's that's um zero is on the ship. Yeah. So Akane is kind of diverting a bit from the subject. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Akane, you looking kind of sus right now. I love your reasonings. That is because of a rabbit killing in the elementary school. <laughs> Well, no, she's also, like, obsessed with, like, you know, conspiracy theories and all that. She looks like a person that's very obsessive over, like... Like, I could see her doing all I this. Could see, I could see her murdering someone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, it feels like she has a very morbid curiosity on things, and I could see that manifesting and organizing something like this potentially or at least if she's not organizing at least to take part in it so you think that either she did it or she's a willing participant yeah okay she might not be the the ringleader but i think if someone were to tell her about it she might be interested in it and maybe she might have found out that Jun junpei was going to be in it so she joined too that could have been a thing too it could have been or maybe she's the reason why Junpei is in this. Possibly, like, I'll join, but only if you can get this one guy in. Yeah. No reason. Okay. I've got a great reason. And what's that? There's one imposter among us. The bracelets. Come on, guys. We gotta go to Med Bay. Get that scan. <laughs> we are in Med Bay. <laughs> Elio, you're looking pretty sus right now. <laughs> He held out his left arm. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. Of course he's got a Try point. He's a protagonist. The same ideas to the nonary game. <laughs> all of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? Junpei let the question hang in the air and looked at the others. It was Santa who answered. So let's say He's you and Clover are right. <laughs> Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's yes. what you're getting at, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Seven, when we were talking earlier... You said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm? But what if Zero is Snake? What if yes, Zero escaped? Something like that. <laughs> I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? 
Zero killed Snake, but that's because Zero is Snake. They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. No one spoke. He big-brained them all. <laughs> Their faces were grim, but Junpei wasn't sure if they believed him or not. Finally, Lotus spoke up. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> what were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because... Um... Junpei choked. Morbid curiosity, wanting to be with the crew, wanting to watch all everything go on amongst them. Wanting to be close to Lotus, that I can understand. Yeah. <laughs> he hadn't thought of that, and he had to be honest with himself. He had no idea. I don't know. Well, decide. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. I mean, you say that, but, like, Rumpa has that thing of just, oh, I just want to bring to Spear, so, like... <laughs> Is that Subbell? In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. So did you! I think that's enough to go on, you know? <laughs> y'all don't have anything else? So... Y'all, like... That's one thing I always hated is that they'll bring up circumstantial evidence and then, like, the main character will do as well. It's like, that's circumstantial evidence. I don't know if that's true. And it's like, shut the fuck you up. You don't have any either, bros. <laughs> Y'all just bullying Junpei. They really are. I hate it. <laughs> Junpei was painfully aware of their eyes on him and their disapproval. Mostly Lotus's eyes of disapproval. <laughs> he tried to find something else, anything else to look at. Look at Lotus. And then his eyes wandered to a certain part. <laughs> then in that horrible silence, the the belly, the belly. I was looking at. at her belly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> same brain, same brain. <laughs> they heard a bell begin to ring. I mean, she's got that one thing covering her belly button, so I, like, often look at it. <laughs> the one thing you can't see, you're focusing intently on, like, move. Yes, like... <laughs> <laughs> the one thing you can't do without. It's, it's the one thing you can't replace. <laughs> Lotus's it was the clock belly button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, it was the clock at the central staircase. <laughs> It's three in the morning. That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now. Seven, Clover, Junpei, I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... Junpei couldn't bring himself to respond. He swallowed the words we wanted to say inside. <laughs> what? Uh, it, it sounded like you said he swallowed the words we wanted to say. The words we wanted to say. Lotus, hand in marriage. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey there, Cactus. Hey, sexies. Oh my god, no rights. Thanks. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Seven and Clover remained similarly silent. I have no Elio gun rights. Oh no! Don't have a sub anymore. Well, Oof. <laughs> it's all good. You can get it with points. Their eyes were looking at something somewhere else, very far away. At least you can get emotes with points, Cactus. So you good. Yeah. We must go. We have very little time left. Three hours is a lot of time. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> it's not Ace's enough. words put their feet to moving. It's not enough to watch an entire sitting of the, uh, what is it, Identity V stage play, though? <laughs> it's hmm. not enough. No. No. They all knew where they were going. Home. Our next destination is Mercury. 
Here we go. They stood in front of the elevators next to the stairs that led to the casino in the kitchen. Uh. Between the two elevators was a card reader with the Mercury symbol engraved on it. Yo, speaking of Mercury, have you ever watched Sailor Moon? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. Wow, that's understandable, though. Yeah, there was there was one show I watched vaguely like that. Mm -hmm. Um, what was it? What was it? Was it, it? it Card Captors? No, uh, it was it was like when I was five, so it was like early, very early two thousands. Mm. Uh, I I'm not sure if this is it, but it's one that looks very familiar to some of the art style. But um, Oja Majo Doremi. Oh yeah, I, I've seen that one. That one's like I, little baby witches. Yeah, I think I saw it at one point because I saw a transformation sequence from it, and I'm like, why does it look familiar to me? <laughs> So, yeah, I say that because Mercury is one of my favorite girls from Sailor Moon. She's not she's not best girl, but she's up there. She's up there. And Venus is probably my favorite girl. But also Pluto. But True. also Saturn. But you see, but you see Sailor Mercury is blue. Therefore, I love her. <laughs> I knew. Magical Doremi, yes, Magical Doremi. I remember oh, that, that show. Oh, that one's his. Yeah, like the the Japanese name for it is Ojamado Doremi, but like in English it was Magical Doremi. Got it. Was, like, it. On, yeah. There's like on four kids, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, prop most likely because I um I just remember vaguely seeing some episodes when I was a little younger. I'm like, yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Yeah, I ate that shit up. That was my childhood. I really liked that. I, I was more of a Mew Mew Power person because I I read the manga before they even started showing Mew Mew Power. I remember absolutely hating that they changed the names, though, like, because of four kids. Because I had read the manga and Tokyo Pop had handled that, and that was Tokyo Mew Mew. And then they changed it to Mew Mew Power. And, like... All, all of the characters are named after food, right? So there's like Ichigo, Zakuro, mint, pudding, lettuce. And then they changed yeah. Ichigo's name to Zoe. And I'm like, that you didn't even change it to a fucking food, dude. Yes, my favorite my favorite crime fighting duo. Bacon and cheeseburger. <laughs> See, now that's a magical girl anime we need. Chips, we need help. <laughs> Where? is the anime producers in the house. Junpei stood in front of it with the Mercury key card. Oh, that's the... Mercury key yeah, card. I found it in the shower room. <laughs> oh, I see. It's got the Mercury symbol. It do, it do. <laughs> he took a deep breath and slid the card through the reader. It made a small beep, and the lights on the leader on the reader blinked to life. Now we can go. Seven people, including Junbei, climbed onto the elevator. Looks like there's only two floor buttons working. C and bottom. Well, let's go to C, cause that's the best boy. Uh, yeah, I love Charles. I will continue to call him Charles for the rest of my natural existence. I hope you understand. <laughs> the rest were destroyed or did nothing when pushed. Time to head down then. Jimbe hit the bottom button. Because he's a bottom. I was gonna say because <laughs> his, oh, his his carers right now are. But yeah. <laughs> the door closed. Slowly, they began to move downward towards our fate. Sometime later, all seven of them stepped off to the elevator and onto the bottom deck. They stepped off and saw that the hallway to their right ended up somewhere between 20 and 25 feet from them. The hallway in front of them was a dead end. But not a regular dead end. Advanced dead end. This is a numbered door. It's door yeah, two. It's door two. 
Only Ace could go in. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Stop saying that, Elio. You're dumb. <laughs> Stop saying that. It, you got the fucking root number. You're stupid. Immediately, they began to discuss who would go through it. So who should go through the door this time? Me. We don't need to be discussing <laughs> who we're leaving behind this time, right? Right. It's set up so we'll be able to meet up again once we get through the numbered doors. Then there's no need for arguments at this point. Hmm. Huh. We should figure out who's going in first. Oh. Thank you for the hydrate. Also, you can do six, five, seven, and three. Let's go. True. But I'm only upset that you didn't say five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I you was said six, five, seven, eight. <laughs> See, I was thinking first of Junpei and Akane, and then I added the others up in my and mind. You put, and, you, and you put her first. Yeah. <laughs> what a lad. Very well. Would anyone like to volunteer? I volunteer as tribute <laughs> to Lotus's honor. <laughs> The first speak up was seven. Okay, so we can still do seven, three, six, and five. I'm still, I did a, <laughs> I willingly went with that that time. <sighs> you just, I'll you go just, too. you wish to hurt me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I suppose I need to go too then. Oh no, don't go. We can't have Jun go with us then. Yeah. Junpei followed suit, which meant Lotus was, by default, the third member. Five, seven, eight, twenty-two plus zero is two. All right, we're taking off. Okay, please be careful. Jesus, you two are acting like you're married. You know that. Oh. <laughs> the way she said that. Well, you see, we are. June blushed. So did Junpei. <laughs> Don't be silly. Cut it out. I like how. Keep in mind, they were all absolutely pissed at him a few, like a minute ago. <laughs> also, Cactus has a question for you, Barn. Oh? Me. Mm. Mm. One. One? Hmm. Five, plus, five plus five is ten. One plus zero is one. I see. Very good. I mean, if it was two plus two, you would get it wrong with that l mind thinking, but... Yeah, no, originally I was going to say ten. I'm like, wait a second. We're playing Zero Escape, you tricky bastard. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now I'll get 100% on test. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use this on tests. <laughs> yeah, do not use the root number on tests unless your teacher is a Zero Escape fan. <laughs> <laughs> unless they're a Zero Escape alumni. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, the answer is one. Uh, how did you reach that, Elio? Well, if, if I was if I was a teacher, I would absolutely throw in some Zero Escape references just to see if I could catch anyone who's ever played it. <laughs> that would be good. Perhaps in an attempt to hide his emotions, he quickly turned away to pull the lever on the red. I know if I did anything for math, I would make one of the answers be 11037. I hate you. <laughs> I, I respect it, but I also judge you. <laughs> I'm a filthy memer. You are. I can't remember what this room is. Hmm. The door opened. As they come to expect, there appeared to be a short hallway on the other side. All right, let's go. Okay, ma'am, you lead the way. <laughs> Lotus was the first through the door. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm going to do that in honor of you. Thank you. Thank you, Cactus. Thank you. Appreciate it. Very poggers of you. <laughs> Seven was next, and Junpei brought up the rear. Oh, wait, yeah, I just realized what this room was. Oh? 
Yeah. Gotcha. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Fortunately, it took them only moments to find the dead. It didn't play it in place just inside the room, right next to the numbered door. They gathered around and quickly scanned each of their bracelets. Seven's hand is so big. It really is. It really is. I'm sorry. The heavy breathing just reminds me. Have you... Apparently in in the Japanese uh, in the Japanese voice for for Genshin Impact, mm -hmm. Lisa just absolutely pants like she's going insane. Oh, yeah, I've heard it. I'm like, holy shit, Lisa, calm down. Jesus, I will have to check that out then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see you're cultured as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. It stopped. Jimmy could feel his heart pounding against the inside of his ribs. I know, thinking about Lisa. <laughs> y yeah, yeah, I know. I get you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy simp. <laughs> Seven and Lotus were breathing hard and fast. Relatable. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Me after climbing the stairs one time at a, at a very slow pace. <laughs> Did I did I ever tell you about that? Uh, one time I had to look after like one of my family's like a uh, like one of my nieces who was like six or seven, and they wanted to play tag with me, and I couldn't catch them at all. Like <laughs> like it was just that much of a weakling I could never catch them, and like it wasn't one of those oh I'm I'm not gonna catch her because I want her to think that she's really fast. That's, no, that's I was fast. trying. I was trying like. Like, with all of my heart to try and catch this kid, I could not catch the kid. <laughs> I wanted I, to, like, faint after that. I, I had something like that. Um, I had to I had to go to a family reunion in uh, California a bit ago. Here we go. Mm. And um, one of my... What, what would she be? I'm not sure. Like, a second cousin? I have no idea. But she's, like, she's like seven, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, she ran up to me and like looked at me real fast, like, "Hey, you want to play?" And then her parents told me, "Yep, she's chosen you as your person today." <laughs> and so I was basically chasing her around and kind of like, kind of playing with all the all the tiny cousins and stuff, pretty much, <laughs> because they all put they all chose me <laughs> as their as their not punching bag, but basically I was taking care of them while everyone else was like being adults and talking with like, other adults, and I was like running around with all the kids. <laughs> when I was finally done. I couldn't, like, I had to keep punched over, and, like, I had to keep my head pointed down, because if I tried to put my head up, I would just immediately get a horrible headache, and, like, I couldn't breathe or anything. Oh, God. And then um, they gave us a bunch of food to take home. Nice. And I looked at it, and I looked at my brother, and it's like, hey, do you mind if I eat this? Like, yeah, sure, you didn't eat anything all day. Go ahead, eat it. I scarfed all of it down, just like seven hot dogs, like eight burgers, <laughs> oh few chips, some cupcakes and stuff, and I just inhaled it because I had no energy at all. <laughs> Fine, you are the chosen one. <laughs> Go fast. That's what that's what I feel like sometimes when I think of that. I was like, why did that happen? <laughs> you were the chosen one. I always I always am the chosen one to look after the kids because I look like a kid, so they're like you're you're one of them. Elio, you're one of them. Elio, you're one of them. She was. I, I'm them because apparently, like, since I was, even since I was, like, even slightly a little bit older than them, they just, like, picked me. <laughs> like, kids usually like me. I don't know why. I, I know why kids like me, and that's because they think they can bully me. <laughs> they sense weakness. Yeah. And, and honestly, they're, they're right. I'm right. getting bullied by all of you. Yep. <laughs> I'm not sure it's They're something I'd want to get used they to. They are. I hate it. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> Damn right. All right. Damn right. <laughs> oh, hey there, Murai. How are you doing? We're here for Murai. big brain games. So Murai. <laughs> Murai. Murai is the big brain of chat. 
Since Junpei looked around again. <laughs> this hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Good. I gotta go to maths in a bit. Oh well, what what a what a game to come into when you have maths in a bit. Maths. Yeah. Weird. Well, you will be doing maths before maths even starts, then, Murai. Three on the left. And only Three one on the, on right. the right. Oh, never mind. Mm. I am Don't the idiot. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. Three plus one plus one. Uh, but it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're gonna get anywhere that way. <laughs> that sounded <coughs> so painful. Are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. It's just like when you it's if you inhale really slowly, that's the sound it makes. <laughs> After taking a look around the room himself, Seven spoke. All right, let's get started. I think we'd probably better split up. Are you okay with that? Yes, no problem. Sure thing. I have a and big I'll take problem. This first one. Yeah. I'll it, be separated from Lotus. Exactly. I want to be with Lotus. Seven nodded to them and stepped into the room closest to him. I'll try the one next to it. At last, Chumpy was left alone. Well, I guess I'd better get started too. He looked intently at the remaining three doors. They left the they left the lion share of it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I pick this room. I'll pick this room. Guys, there's three doors left. Yeah. Welp. And? You're on your own, then. Then Lotus taps you on the shoulder. It's like, you won't mind doing this for me, right? And then you're already opening all three doors. <laughs> Welp. We're back to a... Uh, an escape room. An escape room. Did you want to end it here for today? I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a simple one. What time is it? Four? Yeah. Um, Yeah, I was planning on going to sleep early tonight just so I won't be late to work tomorrow. Yeah, that's cool. So, but, yeah, we can probably end it here. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. We still have art and all that to do anyways. Yeah, so I will, I will stick around. All righty. Well, this is a shorter 999 stream, but look forward to yeah. the next one. <laughs> I, pr I promise next time I will we will do a longer one because I'm pretty sure we're... If you check the flow chart real fast. Ah, uh, sure. All right. Uh, flow is the down button. Okay, let me see. Ah, uh, yes, we're... Yeah, so we're... We're on a route. Yeah, we are on a route. Gotcha. So this should be the last, yeah. Yeah, we're getting close to an ending, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Gotcha. And I wonder... Hmm. Interesting. All right. But yeah. At six here, right. get on my level. <laughs> Uh, scrub lord. <laughs> well, that will be it for 999 today. Thank you everyone for joining with us for this. I'll be putting on some music for you guys, and then we'll be doing art time. And if you so. have, any, have any submissions you'd like to add, please put in the art time or tag Elio on, at Super Bunny Boy on Twitter. At Super Bunny Boy? Isn't that your app? It's Sorry Bunny Boy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not Mario. I'm not in a Super Mario game. You should be. <laughs> should I? Yes. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at playing platformers. Get on my level, Scrub Lord. Oh, wait, you can't because you can't jump. <laughs> Talk about getting bullied. <laughs> <laughs> Squall <-a -la>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I, I just checked uh <laughs> Super Mario 64 speed when Ren <laughs> never <laughs> I would actually love to try one, but I would never be able to do I would never be able to beat the world record or anything. For now, let's talk about parallel universes. Yes. They're with that, like, God, this, Super Mario 64 is such a fucking, like, complex game. Like, when you look into all of it, like, I forgot what the dude was that talked about parallel universes, but he has so many videos about 
just Mario 64. It's insane. Oh, geez. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Like, parallel universes is, like, a thing. And, like, there's, like, the, the jump thing and all that. Oh, yeah. Where you just you just pick up... You just pick up speed. Roll, like, there's... there's from how, how I've described it, or how I've been described it to you, they, they put a cap on the momentum you can get when you front jump, but they never put one when you're trying to backwards long jump, which is the technique you use to get all the speed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello universe where this is a 16 star speed run. All right. So I checked uh, the discord and I don't think anyone has added anything since I last checked. So this should be all the art that we have for the day. All right, all right, okay, all right. okay, all right, cool. Sounds good. Yeah. So our first piece of art is by Yume, Logical Palisade. Let me transform, fit the screen. And then rotate. So this is some art that they made of the Luminary from Dragon Quest dressed in the... What was the school called in Persona 5? Uh, Say, Shujin Academy? Shujin? Shujin. Yeah. Yeah, in the Shujin Academy uniform. This is really cute. I like the background with like the cherry blossom trees and all that. And his face is adorable. You know, you know what I love about it? Hmm. Is that the whole theme of Persona 4 or Persona 5 is... Uh, breaking out of jail, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Shujin Academy. Shujin means prisoner. Yeah. It also could mean protagonist if you put the call after it. Shujin call. True, true. I initially thought that that was just a reference to him being the protagonist. Be like, oh, the, the protagonist goes to Shujin. But no. That's the protagonist school. <laughs> the protagonist school. Yeah, you made it just in time for art, Hagu. Yeah, this is really good, Yume. I really like the coloring on the uniform and all that. Like, I really like the background and his hair. Like, with the highlights and all that. He looks very cute. It's very poggers. Very poggers. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, we got, we got an edit by Cactus. So this oh. is a good one and... and Goodwin and what was the other guy's name from Hello Charlotte fighting uh, Baldwin Baldwin Goodwin and Baldwin from Hello Charlotte fighting Hikaru and the, the Hitachi twins uh, at Denny's from Oran High School host club hell yeah <laughs> I believe in Goodwin and Baldwin supremacy Baldwin ye. I believe in Henri supremacy <laughs> Of course you would. She I'm will. I'm not afraid to say it. She will beat you. <laughs> but yes, uh, the bad thing. Barn has started playing episode two, so he knows of Henri's presence. And I, I knew that you would fucking stand Henri. I fucking knew it. <laughs> yeah, I um, I was gonna actually edit it earlier because I, I actually I started recording it today, so it's fresh in my mind. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was gonna try to get that out before like going on with Ultra Despair Girls. Uh, but then I just didn't. <laughs> and I just <laughs> didn't edit it. I still haven't uploaded my Danganronpa stream on Twitch or or anything since the Danganronpa stream. I've just been lazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> I believe in laziness supremacy. Hell yeah. But yeah, this is a good edit, Cactus. They will defeat the Hitachi. Is it Hitachi twins? Uh, I I could not tell you. It has been years since I saw Orana High School. Yeah, same here. I was in like high school when I watched that, which was years, like decades ago now. God, I'm Damn, old. Roasted. <laughs> roasted by yourself. Yeah. And then we have another edit by Cactus. So this is of <laughs> Charles E. Cheeses is their <laughs> description for this. Charles E. Jesus. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very poggers. Uh, <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't talk about a bit of this, but Charlotte's I looking do, cute. I do see Scarlet. Yeah, you do see Scarlet. I have a feeling you will like Scarlet the more you see of her. Hmm. I only know I saw like one CG of her. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was because it was explaining that spoilers. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so you have seen her then. Gotcha. Yes, I have seen her. I have seen her slightly. 
slightly, yeah. Also, I feel bad because I, I, I did not go eat lunch with Henri. Uh, I don't know if that's an actual choice or if there are choices in this game. Yeah. Uh, I forget if the choices matter as much in episode 2 as they do in episode 3. But episode 3, you can make choices and you cannot come back and change your choice. You'll get berated. I love it. <laughs> I tried to add... Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, cactus. All I mean, the true realm. I mean, I, I would debate with you a bit on that, Cactus, but I will not debate you right now. I will debate you later. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for that, Cactus. Good job, Cactus. Very popular. And then we have some more art by Yume. And this is the man himself. Looking cool, Joker. Mm. Look at him. He got yeah, that fit. Yeah, it's, it's got to load real fast. I'm still behind on stream. It's all good. Oh, yeah. That, there he is, the boy. There he be. He Joker. He Joker. And he looking cool. Yeah, I really I'm like already the Tracer. <laughs> I, I already told you, May, how I felt on it. But I really like the coloring and how it all blends. And I like his facial expression and the skin and all that. And the moon does pop him out very well. Yes, yeah. <laughs> sexy <laughs> Sexy poggers Sexy poggers Joker is sexy It's very sexy Yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this a lot you may Thank you for drawing Joker because I, 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 I could take Joker. I could take or leave him <laughs> You could take or leave him? Yeah Oh <laughs> I could Wait there's a moon in the background that means it's night Joker go to sleep Joker, hey. Joker, Morgana's behind you. Oh hey. god, he's out of AirPods in. It's getting pretty late right now, Joker. You should go to sleep. That was my oh. attempt at a Mona voice. No, don't do it. You're so sexy. Huh? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for sharing that with us, Yume. And then we have one more edit by Cactus. Don't, don't worry, Cactus, I got you. We got the birthday image with Charlotte. Happy you. birthday. Happy birthday. Her birthday is in three days. <gasps> yeah, it's on the 10th. I only made, I think, when was it? I don't know why I did it, but I did, I did like a slideshow of, of Claire art on one of the episodes of Witch's Heart. Ooh. I can't remember if it was because it was for her birthday or because it was just like a celebration of like an anniversary of Witch's Heart. Mm hmm. Because I don't know how long it had been out since by the time I played it. Yeah. Well, that was cool. Yeah, we gotta celebrate Charlotte's birthday. She's a birthday celebrate, girl. Celebrate Charlotte. And that's how it is. Yeah. See, that's the thing. That, that's the thing. You Hi. you celebrate her birthday nicely. Mm -hmm. And then you worship the ground uh, that Henri steps on or she <laughs> destroys you. <laughs> of course. She will stab you if you don't. Might do a closet cosplay of her soon. I'd love to see you're, you, Charlotte. You're you're making it harder and harder for me to actually say no to that. Because <laughs> you know, she'll stab you if you don't. Well, fuck! Now you're now you're putting me in a bad position. Yeah. Now now you gotta do it to or, just so or, she can stab you. Yeah. You know. You got it. <laughs> you you got the sauce. Yeah. Also, I like how Bennett here is the Chuck E. Cheese. Is the Chuck E. Cheese. The Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> the Chuck E. Cheese themselves. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good edit, Cactus. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Happy birthday, Charlotte. Happy birthday, Charlotte. I fucking hate the... Okay, you see, like, on the drinks, how they got, like, the, the fucking mouse head on it? Yeah. I fucking hate those. Those look terrifying. They do. <laughs> Why did they think it was a good idea? God. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's who? <laughs> it's inspired by a real story. It is. He is Chuck E. Cheese. All right. He's and then... Chuck E. Cheese. And then the rest of the art for the night is by Hagu. So uh, let us look at Hagu's art. Let's look at Hagu. Yeah, let's look at Hagu. 
So How do you reveal thyself? <laughs> Hagu face reveal? Hagu face reveal? Oh my god. <laughs> so our first one is of Kibo, and this is one of my favorites, because I really like the colors of it. It's very cool, like... Like, cool as in, like, a color sense, but also cool as in just, just cool, like, nice. Yeah. Yeah. He looks really nice. I, I like his facial expression. He's very innocent. <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> very. And I like all of the gears and stuff for the background. Like, it's very, like, the colors all blend together really nicely. Really Kibo like is a character from V3, yeah? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I don't know him. All I know is that he's a Roblox boy. Yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> yeah, this is really good, Hagu. Thank you for drawing this and showing it to us. He looks very cool. Joker. <laughs> and then our next piece of art. I, I showed this one to Barn in the DMs because I was just like, look at this. Uh, so this is Mikan drawn by Hagu, and holy Christ, Hagu! Like, God! Pop off! Pop off, pop, pop off King, pop off. <laughs> the, the fucking wings in this, so fucking good! Like, oh. And like, all of the like, purple, like the scattery, like, glitch kind of looking stuff, like, God! This is so cool, Hagu. Garsh dang. Yeah, the detail in the wings is just... Mm. It's moi, chef's kiss. Yes. I love her facial expression too, like she's like... She's got like the mascara that's kind of like running because she's like crying or whatever. Can you tell I was really into the drawing because I was? Yes, it's so good. Pop off king. Yeah, thank you for sharing this with us. This is amazing, Hagu. Like your art is just so good. And then, Barn, are you ready for a good girl? Um, always. Alright. Well, here is another good girl. If I'm girl. ever not, it's not me. <laughs> I mean, you could. You could become a good girl, Barn. If you really wanted oh, to. No, no, no. I mean, like, if, if I never, if I ever say no to that question, it's not me. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, either way. Either way, yeah. Barn. Yeah. You, the sky is infinite. <laughs> it is. Who's yes, that? that's Kana. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. it's a good girl. She's got the splatoon hair. Yeah, she's got like a little flower, and she's a vampire. You know, I would let her kill me. I would let her suck my blood dry. Yeah. I also really like the trees on this, like how you got the glitch effect going on it. And I like the blood. Blood's very cool. Kana, baby. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this a lot, Hagu. She needs her nutrients. She does. I will gladly provide. <laughs> the Earth will provide for you. Yes. So will the legions of fans you have amassed. <laughs> Let me see here. Can you believe there are people who actually don't like Kana as a character? How? How is that possible? Well, their argument is that she's not really useful to the main story at all. It's like, no uh, one's really been useful to the main story at all. What, 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 are you, what are you talking about? And she's like integral, at least like with Soul and Shin, like with Shin, like she impacted him a lot and Shin affects the story a lot. So, yeah. checkmark gamers. Uh... So yeah, that is the end of today's stream. Uh, Always with the checking of the mark gamers. Yeah, gotta end with the check mark gamers. So yeah. no stream tomorrow for me, uh, but Friday will be some more how to take off your mask and some more end roll. And that will be at 3 p.m. PST. Also, thank you for coming for 999 Barn. No problem. Sorry I couldn't do it last week. It's all good. Because life is pain. Also, if you guys would like to check him out, I just Don't. left in a message. Feel free to check him out if you like him. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that will be it for the day. Uh, thank you guys for coming, and see you next time.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Check mark, gamers. <laughs>